Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface with another Raid Boss 101 and today is the turn of Anixia. Now on the very first week that patch 5.1 was implemented, I decided to pop into Anixia's Lair solo to see how difficult slash tough she will be. Now I only did it on 10 man and she was for a warlock anyway, pretty easy, but... The good news for me, was <laughs> she dropped her mount, which I believe is only a 1% drop rate chance. So I was absolutely thrilled about that. Thank you very much. Now I'm just going to stop the cast there for Chaos Bolt because in phase one, I'm not going to use any of my burning embers. In actual fact, I'm going to try and build them up to maximum because the whole success of this fight depends really on phase two. Phase one, phase three you shouldn't particularly have any problems with. But with the ad phase in phase two, and they come in serious numbers, that is the time that could cause the odd little bits of difficulty. So if you are going to tackle Oni, come in with your best AoE DPS spec that you've got, or tanking spec, either, either, or. So I batted her down. Phase two is just about to begin, and look... Uh, the amount of ads <laughs> which arrive. Now, they're all level 80s. They're not elites. So you think, wow, this should be pretty easy. But due to the sheer numbers of them, look, my health does get battered quite a fair bit. I've gone from, from full health down to, to half health. And I'm actually having to use a couple of the burning embers, which I've stored up, to heal myself, which is the whole purpose of why I did it. So that is the tricky phase, but once out of it, oh, full health, and I've even got a couple of burning embers to spare because of all the various bits of AoE. The rest of the fight should be relatively simple. Although standing in the middle of Onyxia's breath probably isn't the greatest thing. It doesn't hurt masses amounts, but yeah, just not clever. More dots! More dots! <laughs> and then you'll get the odd guard that comes in. And then also in phase three, you'll get the odd couple of whelps that come in as well. But once she lands, she'll do her fear, which is not anything really I can do about it. I'll just have to run it off. But as you can see, my pet, it's in really good health. I'm in no problems whatsoever. I've got lots of cooldowns still available to me should I need to. So I might come back here and have a bit of a crack at 25 Anixia solo, which I think will be uh, uh, quite difficult, but it'd be nice just to, to have a test. But remember, these 101 videos are all about, because I like to class myself, and proudly so, as just an average standard WoW player, what you can personally do now in patch 101 raid-wise on a solo basis that shouldn't, I'm not saying absolutely, but shouldn't, cause you too many difficulties so there we go Oni's just about to drop remember she also will always drop a 22 slot bag so if you need to have your bags increased that's pretty funky for her and she'll also drop replicas of tier two i believe tier two yeah tier two stuff could be tier one. Ooh, i don't know anymore and also <laughs> you've got an Ixia's head should you need to complete that quest, you can just get an item and sell it for a little bit more gold. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook. I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.